it's a Sunday afternoon, and there wasn't a megaphone available, so they asked whether I would say a few words, because I've got a loud voice, and is Neville here? Where's Neville? He was singing down there a minute ago. Welcome to the return of the ancient mariner. What is the return of the ancient mariner? I'll tell you what I can see. I can see a sailing ship built in the 1490s, over 500 years ago. She looks like the sailing ship in David Jones, the artist's engravings of the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Those engravings are at the National Museum of Wales this afternoon. We're about to go for a party in the Wales Millennium Centre at half past one. And then we're going to get 80 of us on a boat, the Princess Catherine, and go up to the National Museum of Wales to see these engravings. They're there for three months. You might like to go to the National Museum of Wales to see what the engravings from the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner look like. They look a bit like that ship there. What else can I see? <laughs> I can see my beautiful friend Annie Saunders dressed up as if she was going to her wedding. <laughs> Annie tells me she's never getting married, so this is her only chance today. We'll see. Here is my new friend, Sam. Give a hand. <laughs> the ship is a ship which is a symbol of the ship from the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. It isn't the ship from the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. This isn't theatre today. It's a symbol. Annie is a symbol of a bride. Annie is a Cornish bard, a Welsh speaker, a singer, and an artist. And she represents today the symbol of Wales and traditional Welsh language culture and modern Welsh language culture. All over the world, not always in easy circumstances as we travel here today, and helps them to learn English and learn about Wales. And Sam represents a new experience of Wales. Can we hear it for a new experience? Yeah. Yeah. Sunday didn't know he was going to be. <laughs> On Monday morning, I was still scratching my head saying, who is going to be the ancient mariner? I couldn't find the person with the right look. Kevin was walking his daughter to school. I was in the car driving my son to school. Kevin crossed on a zebra crossing in front of me. And I said, that is the ancient mariner for Cardiff. <laughs> Give your applause for Kevin. <laughs> the ancient mariner goes to sea. He leaves the Bristol Channel. They go on a voyage. 
and they cross the equator, they travel to the South Pole and are surrounded with icebergs. And the only living thing is an albatross, a huge seabird. Look at the seabirds. Here we are. Pick a seagull that is your symbol of the albatross. They feed the albatross. They like it. It's the only living thing they've seen for weeks. And one day, the mariner takes his crossbow and he shoots the albatross. Not a real albatross. <laughs> this is a symbol of the albatross made by the leading contemporary Welsh artist Ivor Davis. Can we give Ivor a big round of applause? <laughs> Somebody said to me earlier, no one said there were going to be feathers. <laughs> Lloyd made the arrow. Lloyd. <laughs> now, <laughs> the mariner shrugged. And I say, maybe it was a good, a good omen. But then a wind comes and blows the ship away from the ice. And they go, oh, that was all right. Oh, that was all right. Off we go. Oh, oh all right. All right. <coughs> and the spirit of the South Pole blows the ship up to the equator. And there, in the sun, the ship is becalmed in the heat, like yesterday. And as a result, 200 sailors died in an ecological crisis. They have no water. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. 200 people die because one man destroyed something. And the mariner is left in a living death. He's given the ability to be a blessing to the sea creatures and the natural world. And when he's given the ability to be a blessing to the sea creatures and the natural world, at that point the ship begins to move and the crew rise up as zombies and sail the ship back to the Bristol Channel to deliver the ancient mariner to give his warning. And he roams forever, warning people about our unthinking, destructive capacities and also our ability to be a blessing to the natural world and to each other. When you look at the ship, when you look at the mariner, when you look at Coleridge, when you look at the albatross, when you look at, can we have a big cheer for our zombies? Reception and the hello, and the band will come out 
soon. Thank you for coming. Let the party begin.